Okay, so um, we're back with another um, installation in, in, in no, <laughs> start again. <laughs> I've just had my coffee, man. It's just kicking. <laughs> yeah, just ramp it up, dude. Come on, get your coffee going. <laughs> installation to installation, where we discuss how you can get your artwork from inside your brain out into the world that we love. So that's why we're here to answer all the questions that you might have. And this is our episode about how to determine surface area. Excellent. And our question is from Tim in Ohio, Kim. And he said, he asked us, hello, I'm quoting for a job that I think your Peltai Premium would be perfect for. I create a scale model for presenting to my client. Can you help by giving me an idea as to how much I would need for my project? And what he did was he sent us a little mock-up that we'll show you on screen now um, of what that table looks like. We think it looks absolutely beautiful. The tabletop will be actual wood, and I plan on making the tree trunk base with Peltire Premium. I'm hoping it will be lightweight. Um, it's approximately 24 by 60 inches overall table size. So um, we said we'd get in touch with our creative director, Kim, and we would answer his question. So Kim gave a very comprehensive answer and we thought, hey, let's share this with the community and show them because we get this question a lot, don't we, Kim? We get this question quite a lot. And, you know, you could run into algorithms and math and stuff like that. We have a really easy hands on approach to this kind of stuff. We mock it up. And behind me, you can see my stump double tree trunk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I put it on a yeah, I put it on a tabletop here. Uh, that's about the size he had. His was two feet by four feet. Well, it's about the same size. And I purchased a whole bunch of these really cheap microfiber towels. They're a foot by a foot, but I've got about fifteen of them, and I'm going to build the mock-up. Watch this. So towels. Towels are great because you can actually kind of sculpt them. And so this is what that tree looked like. And I'm going to get another towel and I'm going to do a root out like that. Let's put another towel under there. And another root was about here, about like that. And this is how you would plan all of your larger, larger sculptures, isn't it? Certainly. I like doing a mock-up really fast. Then you take these and just drape them over the top like this. Yeah, get out of there. And that and this. Flip that around. You can see you go pretty fast. I'm just trying to get an idea of what this would take. So once I draped this up, okay, this is what we call by guess and by golly. It'll get you something really close. And here is our magic com configuration. This is a big sculpture. It's going to be half an inch thick. And that has been written out on a towel with felt to pin and this just stays with the towels so every one of those towels is five pounds okay okay Count easy up. now if you're doing a slightly smaller piece say this check this out so this is not a half inch thick I would do this only about a quarter of an inch thick. Cute little dragon, fun little thing. How to find out? If I put it here, can you see it? I think yep. so. Okay. So, one, then a two, then three. Kind of four. Five, okay, five towels covers that little skull. So that means five times 2.5 is 
I don't know, what's the math? <laughs> <laughs> they can work out. <laughs> they can work it out. But you get the idea. I can quickly womp it up. I know that that surface is going to be convoluted and shaped. So yeah. that's why I do some overlaps. It's surprisingly accurate. So I encourage you, if you've got a question like this, even on big sculptures, if you can toss a towel onto it, you can find out your surface area. This is actually such an easier way of doing it. And for someone like myself, who's just starting out on their sculpting journey, this is really invaluable um, for when I'm doing my Peltai premium sculptures because now I can easily figure out. And so something that size of the dragon skull would obviously only need to be about a quarter inch they call up. Yeah. Um, the corner is also how many cups are there? Yeah. It's there, that's 7.5 cups. Because some people weigh or buy pounds, some people buy cups. If you live in a country that does the metric system, make this for the metric system. Yeah, yeah. What I love about it is that this answers the question that a lot of people have when people still are thinking in terms of clay, aren't they, a lot of the time? So they're thinking in terms of the whole thing would need to be made. But really, this is a lovely example to show you how little product you actually need for a project. Yeah, yeah you because... You don't need a lot. Remember, Peltide Premium is a hollow shell. Yeah. It's like a balloon. You're not building the interior part because it's so strong. You're just building the outside edge. Yeah. And that's yeah. a great, and for, for me and for all of our um, customers and potential customers, well, they're very visual because they're artists <laughs> and they're sculptors. Yes. Yeah. This is just a lovely visual way of showing. And Tim got back to us. He was absolutely delighted with our answer. He said he can't wait to try the product because obviously it's um, it's it's enabling him to do things that he would not have been able to do in other uh, mediums. So once we answered him, he got back to us and he said. And that was really heartwarming for us to hear because yeah. we really nice. are trying to build that community of like-minded artists and we want to be as helpful. We want you to be as successful in your project as possible. Um, so I got back to him and um, I asked if we could share his question, which he said, absolutely. And then he told me something that was, again, really lovely. You guys went way above and beyond on your response. He said his grandfather started making furniture back in the 30s and he imagined that the help he used to get from his distributors was much like the help we gave to him. So he said companies don't work like that anymore. Thank you for bringing back some of that heartfelt care that has been lost for so long. Um, so that made me almost want to cry because it's something that we um, bake into everything we do, don't we, Kim? We, we, and we try and be as passionate as possible about our product so that you can be as passionate as possible about your future sculptures. And if this helps and you like this kind of mm -hmm. QA format, we'll just keep doing it because it's fun and we get to chat and you know we get to drink coffee. I like, I like this kind of format. Um, one thing, I have sculpted for 30 years. My largest sculpture is three stories tall. Mm -hmm. I like big, I like bold, and I have sculpted with every material on the planet, and I know a lot of stuff. But more importantly, I know all the cheat codes. I have long since stripped out the complexity of just about everything I've worked with and all the teams that I've worked with. And to my mind, it's fun. I like to make it effortless for other people. If you're slogging through getting something done, good God, write us, ask us. I'll save you about a dozen hours, not a problem. <laughs> And so on that note, the next question we have is from Nicola in the UK, in England. And she was asking, she's going to be, well, she, she was at the time making a Whippet sculpture. Now, a, something that has four legs like that works quite a little bit differently with our product. Um, and so we will answer that question in the next installment of Inspiration to Installation. Yes. So do tune in for that and we will be talking all about that. And if you have any questions about this episode, pop them in the comments below. Let us know. And if you have a question yourself about any sculpture that you want answered by us, um, we might choose it for our next um, yep. part in the series. So fire away and let us know by um, putting your question below and maybe we'll get in touch. 
Okay, Thank cool. you so much, Kim. That was that was great. Such an easy way. And yeah, these sessions always get me so excited to go away and sculpt. And I've actually got a few questions to ask you after our call about my own sculptures. So um, I will. Oh, hey, you want to see how far my dorse round has gotten? Oh, yes, 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 yes. OK, let me get this out of the way. Oh man. It's and cardboard. So what's how is it white? What's the white stuff? Is that just the chalk paint? It's the chalk paint. Wow. Yeah. So it's three coats of chalk paint. And I'll see if I can bring it on closer, but the texture is so much like stone. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh wow. It totally reads as stone. So when That's... we paint this up, it is gonna look like you've just walked into a so cool. World of Warcraft place, but that just goes over my yeah. door. That is really cool. I oh, you're that. gonna love it. Oh my god, wait till you see the paint job Stephen and I are gonna film. Oh, really? Oh, it, oh my god, this is gonna be right off the top of the charts. Ooh. One of the high end paint jobs. <gasps> gonna take that and he's gonna make it damn near real. <laughs>